Hey guys, welcome back to another Warlord Weekly. All right, uh, this week, the shot we're gonna go over is a sword and board shot uh, for when we are in a mirror match. So right on right, left on left, right? Okay, so this shot has kind of a simple idea behind it and uh, it's really effective against a large part of the population because it takes uh, into account most people's the, the, the common response of throwing a high cross and uses that to beat someone, okay? So, this is a shot I stole off of a Warlord from long ago. Basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna step up and I'm gonna start by throwing a bait shot, all right? So I'm gonna throw and I'm gonna cross low, okay? And what he's doing right now is what we're looking for them to do, okay? Now, when we're throwing this cross, we're making sure, once again, that it's gonna be low. This is gonna give him the most juicy arm, basically, and he's most likely to throw back at it. If I throw high like this, you see my hand is very much in the way and my arm is out. He still might cross, right? He still might go around, but he's a little bit less likely to do it than if I'm throwing this that makes it look very available, okay? So, that's the setup for the bait, right? All right, we're stepping in and throwing low. Now, we know he's gonna come over. What we're gonna do is we're gonna stop, stop that shot and throw right back under his arm. So I'm coming in with a step in throw here. We're gonna block and I'm gonna throw in right under his arm, okay? What sort of footwork do we want for this? Well, this shot, because it's kind of simple, you have a whole lot you can do with it, or you can stay pretty on your feet, right? I can come in here, where are we going? Just throw right there, and that hand comes straight up to a block, throw, with not much footwork, or we can really try to set this up good, right? I can come over here, throw down here, and step in, all right? I can take it to the other direction just as well, right? I'm going here to get that block, which opens me up over here and throws, all right? Let's move from the other direction. I'm gonna show you these angles again. So the great part about this shot, once again, is it's fairly simple. You have a lot that you can do with it, and there's a lot of times you can do it. What if I'm gonna grind right here? We've already set up, right? We're throwing both, I can throw here to create that and throw in, all right? So, once again, from this side, we're gonna go without footwork. So we talk about just the combination here, okay? So I'm gonna start. I'm gonna throw. You see how I'm throwing low? Just stay in your stance for me right here. You see how my hand is coming high to give that high cross effect, but my shot is almost down to his hand, right? Never meant to hit, right? Just want it to look good, all right? Now, he comes across. We're gonna stuff high, all right? We don't wanna soak it right here because if we soak it right here, what happens is I throw, he swings back, I block, and the time it takes me to get back, he has plenty of time to block, okay? So we're gonna catch that early. We're throwing low. He comes up from right here. I wanna throw under his arm, all right? If it's, if it's a little deeper than we want, maybe even step in to throw over, okay? A lot of the safety in this drill is going to come from finding the off time in the shot, okay? And by that, I mean, if I throw like this, he swings and I block and we set, then I swing back, he has a chance to hit me as well, right? I'm gonna bring my shield over for the hopeful defense, but he's got a chance to hit me as well. That's why we need to find that quick timing. So when I throw and he swings back, I wanna catch and go so that he does not have time to throw a second shot, all right? So, see what y'all think? It's a great shot. I kill a lot of people with it. The person that I knew uh, killed a lot of people with it. So uh, see what y'all think. Hopefully y'all have a good time using it out of park this week. All right. Thank you.